Wow. All right, Tina and Elliot, it's your turn. Have fun. <laughs> A 21-year-old woman named Tina Rice is missing. If you have any information about her disappearance, please call. Hello everybody, Ponzi here. Welcome to Paranormal Files. The Tall Man. A new beta from Elephant Games. That opening feels oddly familiar. It reminds me of Until Dawn, the PlayStation game. But anyway, uh, this is the second game in the series. So it's time to check it out. Here we go again. A new beta from Elephant Games. My name's Rick Rogers, and I'm a ghost hunter. Just kidding. I hunt all evil spirits, not just ghosts. Got an unusual gift a year ago, the ability to defend against dark forces. I started my own agency, Paranormal Files. Hello, I'm Nikki Summer. Are you Rick Rogers? I need your help. Hi. <laughs> Should talk to Nikki and find out about the case. What is up, Nikki? Thanks for getting back to me. A year ago, my friends and I were staying in a country house. There were strange rumors about people going missing in that area, but we didn't take them seriously. When the group played a prank on Tina Rise, she ran away from the house and disappeared in the forest. I think the same thing could happen again this year. I got a strange message saying that if we get together in that house, it'll all happen again. I did some digging, and this is all I found. Will you take a look? Sure. Let's see what young Miss Marple managed to find out. She's Miss Marple, I'm Hercule Poirot. <laughs> we are the two detectives. Let me introduce my friends. Elliot's the life of the party, and he's super handsome. His parents own a house in that cursed forest. Eliza can be a bit arrogant, but she's really popular. Terry is a football player, and he's pretty quiet, but he's also super kind. Okay, so Tina was the one they were playing a prank on. Then we have uh, the football player. Football. Terry. And finally, there's Tina. She's quiet and inconspicuous. I suspected that she was in love with Elliot. Elliot and Eliza played a joke on her and she ran away from the house. I went after her but couldn't find her. I asked for your help because I've been looking for answers for a whole year. I think something's lurking in that forest. Something supernatural. I also received a strange letter saying that history will repeat itself. But I don't think a ghost could have written it, right? I don't know. Yeah, hopefully, this won't be another case of the Vendigo. <laughs> the Vendigo uh, in uh, Until Dawn, of course. Uh, the year 2018. As for the forest, a lot of people have gone missing from the area. Take a look at the map. Elliot's parents' house is on the edge of the forest. Now I see how they bought this house for so cheap. Elliot's dad is an avid hunter and he doesn't believe in any of the stories. A hunter. Hunting rival. I learned that people started to disappear almost 300 years ago. Back then, there was a settlement here, with mines and caves nearby. I think the locals angered some spirit before leaving this place, but that spirit still roams the forest at night. I know it must sound ridiculous. I hope
hope my research helped you get a grasp of what happened. My friends are already at Elliot's house. Here's the address. If you're ready, we can go. Let's get going. Great, now I can set my GPS and go. It's adventure time. We have the address. Wow, what a welcome. At least my defense worked this time. The objective, get inside the house. Wow, we almost got crushed by the fallen tree. It's so quiet. That's not like my friends at all. Something stupid happened before we left. Elliot tore off the amulet Tina gave to me before she disappeared. It's important to me, so we got into a fight. Elliot said that the amulet would be waiting for me here in the safe so that I'd come back. The last thing I said to him was that he was a fool. It seems so silly now. Please, help me find out what happened. Well, it seems like Nikki feels guilty of fighting with Iliad over a stolen necklace. She'll return it when I can. Okay. Let's start our investigation, guys. <laughs> this must be Eliza's bag. Judging by the name, clearly emblazoned on it. Eliza. But it's locked. Locked case. Locked bag. A rough start. <laughs> Alright, let's get inside the house. Hmm, need to take a look inside somehow to see how it's attached. Garden claw. Okay, let me head back inside uh, the car here. Get some supplies. <laughs> On the other hand, on one hand, I learned a scary but valuable lesson. On the other hand, I also found my true calling. My first case, the one that determined my new fate. A beautiful mansion with very hospitable owners. Despite what I had to live through there, I realized that my, my destiny was to deal with this kind of thing. I have a special ability, a protection from dark forces, and I should use it to help people, living or dead. And my name is Rick Rogers. Rick Pazu Rogers. <laughs> Pazu is a middle name. The nickname. Okay, uh, Garden Claw. Okay, there's something else here. What is that? A chip? A computer chip? Huh. Garden Travel. Where do I use a Garden Travel? Uh, shoving my head in an ant is pretty near the top of the list of stupid things I shouldn't do. <laughs> Looks like it's not that active. That ant here. Maybe they're all gone. <laughs> okay, let's use a uh, Travel. Eliza's Locket. Uh, if I don't want to become another cheesy campfire story, I should find a map of the woods. Okay, let's look behind the door here and figure out the lock. Guide the chain along the maze to open the door. Hit the round buttons to open and close new paths. So those are uh, the buttons, the locks. Pretty easy. All the way to the end. Actually, no. Uh, back to number one. And I'm stuck now. Back to number three, maybe? Interesting puzzle here. It goes back and forth. But, uh, I'm still stuck. There we go. Wow, a twist. <laughs> Not straightforward. Button to button. Lock to lock. You do have to backtrack a bit. Anyway, heading inside the house, the living room. Whoa, it's quite messy now. Everything you need for a party is here except the partiers. Yeah, it looks like there has been a struggle inside this room. 
Whoa. Impressive sparkly. But I doubt anyone would appreciate me burning the house down. Need to find a new charger. <laughs> Can we use a new chip? The charger chip. I think I have a tiny screwdriver in my car. I don't think we can salvage this charger. <laughs> There's still smoke coming out. Wow. Need to throw that away. Let's go buy a new one. <laughs> Let's go to Amazon.com for uh, two hour shipping, maybe. <laughs> My dad usually have a couple of these. His were less creepy and had eyes. Someone stole their eyes. Okay, need to use some lemons. This won't be easier to open with a code. What about uh there's a ruby eye that goes onto the trophy? Yes. We need uh, both at the same time. Uh, the back door! No handle! Seems we have another case to solve the curious mystery of why someone would steal a doorknob. <laughs> but that's always the case. I'm not surprised anymore. Door missing doorknobs. It's quite a common occurrence. My phone! Cell phone. What is that a shadow? A soldering iron? Maybe. Yeah. Solder this in place, of course. Probably inside the toolbox, the soldering iron. But how do we open this? Okay, got rust. Rusty lock. A dawn up. Soldering iron. Aha, uh -huh. there's no plug. <laughs> wow. Uh, they have all the right. all night to guess the right code. I need another clue. Can we knock this out? Uh, the chisel. I guess the eye is battery powered. <laughs> There's no plug, no cable. And there we go, we fixed it! We fixed the laptop charger. Wow. Yeah, in real life, I would definitely... Hey, Nikki, we've been waiting for you. It's been super boring. So we're heading out to the woods to see what kind of monsters are really out there. <laughs> I doubt you'll make it three steps before wanting to come back. Look in the safe while we're out. Your precious pendant's there, just like I promised. That's a safe. We got a code. Yes. So our group of ingenious has just gone into the woods. Great. Well, at least Nikki's pen is saving the safe. We have the code. So let's do the puzzle, guys. Guide the current so that each number bulb is lit. The bulbs must be lit in the order shown on your phone, and to check on to check the chain, press the blue button. Three, six, five. So this is going to be the starting point. We cannot rotate the tiles. We can only shift the tiles. Three, six. Okay, need a turn. But this is dead end. Uh, do we have it? Have another choice? Yeah, okay, that worked. <laughs> Three, six. Okay, next one is five. 
So all the way back to the top. Four is going to be the last number. Can we work backwards? So from nine to four. I think that's a good tile. From nine to four and from eight to nine. Still this. Okay, need a turn here. Nine. This one. Four, nine, eight. Uh, okay, that is not going to work. Three, six. No, 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 no. Okay, which can use this higher here? Can we find a replacement? Do this one. Okay, I think that is still a link. Four, nine, eight, five. Then head to five. From five to six, a straight line. Um. Okay, let's do this one. So three. Six, five, from five to eight. From five to eight. Three, six, five, eight. I need a turn here. Can we do this one? Is that right? We did it! <laughs> wow. There's still so many dead ends. In the puzzle, but I guess they don't matter. All right, got a Nikki. To Nikki, that's what caused Nikki and Elliot to fight. I should give this back to her. 